All the information shared in this video is available on the public platform. Nothing is discussed here which may breach the confidentiality of our armed forces. Defense Detective respects our defense forces and works only on the information that is available for public use. Hello and welcome to another episode of Defense Detective Global. Today in the second video of India-China War series, we will talk about the battle which is counted among one of the biggest battles in the world. The battle which was fought at an altitude of 17,000 feet, where there were only 124 Indian Bravehearts on one side and around 3,000 Chinese on the other. In many places, the number of Chinese soldiers has also been mentioned as 5,000. On one side, there were three North 3 rifles and on the other side, there were automatic guns. On one side, there were only mortars and machine guns and on the other side, there were complete artillery. Yet, the Valor of Indian Soldier has written such an exemplary saga which is rarely found in the world. Dada Kishan Ki Jai While giving this war cry, Charlie Company fell like lightning on the enemies and the white snow-clad valley of Chushul turned red with the blood of Chinese soldiers. Every Indian soldier fought till the last bullet and attained martyrdom. Till their last breath, soldiers of Charlie Company carried out their brigade commander's order, which was last man, last round. That company fought with unparalleled courage. And whenever the bravery of Indian soldiers is mentioned, the names of the martyrs of Rezangla are mentioned above all. This battle can be compared with the famed battles fought between Greek and Persian empires in 480 BC and the incredible battle of Saragari fought in 1897 between 21 soldiers of the Sikh regiment and more than 10,000 Afghan tribesmen. Likewise, the battle of Rezangla was fought between ill-clad and ill-equipped 124 Indian soldiers and more than 3,000 Chinese soldiers. The Charlie Company of the 13th Kumau, led by undaunted leadership of Major Shaitan Singh, ferociously fought in minus 30 degree temperature, till they were not left with any equipment and manpower. 60 years have passed by. Now there's a road to Ladakh and people visit this area by bike and car for adventure. But everyone stops at the Rezangla Memorial. People join their hands and bow down their heads in respect. Today, if the Indian tricolor is waving here and kissing these mountains of the Himalayas, it is just because of the supreme sacrifice made by these war heroes. Even today, these heroes are at this place to protect the border of Mother India on the same soil where they were martyred, on the same soil where the last rites were performed. This is the same Charlie company whose 120 brave hearts fought more than 3,000 Chinese soldiers. The Charlie Company, whose 114 heroes sacrificed their lives on this earth, those brave Ahirs are sleeping in the lap of the Mother Nature. We will give you each and every detail of the Battle of Rizangla. But before that, you should see these pictures. Many things kept in the Rizangla Museum in Chushul are telling the story of this battle. Look at this water bottle. This bottle belongs to Naik Gulab Singh. Do you see the bullet marks? There are five bullet marks on a small bottle. So just imagine how many bullets must have been faced by the Indian soldiers fighting there. This is the soap case of Jamadar Hariram that is kept in Rizangla Museum. Look at its condition. Hundreds of such things have been kept in this museum so that the country and the world can see and feel how those brave martyrs fought and sacrificed for their country. Rizangla is a mountain pass on the ridgeline adjoining the Chushul Valley in Ladakh. When China attacked India in 1962, it was rapidly moving towards Chushul airstrip. The capture of Chushul airstrip would have meant the capture of a large part of Ladakh. China was advancing from Spangar Gap near Gurung Hill. Indian Army airlifted tanks for the first time and gave a befitting reply to China 
on its intrusion. There was another way to reach Chushul airstrip, which was not on the gap, but the Chinese army could reach there through the mountain. Rizangla was about 10 kilometers south of Chushul airstrip. The Indian army had deployed their Charlie Company of 13 Kumau Battalion. The report about this war was published on the Defence Ministry's website gallantryawards.gov.in. The report stated that 13 Kumau Regiment arrived in Jammu and Kashmir from Ambala in June 1962. When the war situation began, they were sent to Chushul. Till then, the Kumau Regiment had no experience of war at high altitude. The 13 Kumau, as part of the 114 Infantry Brigade, was deployed at Leh on 2nd October 1962. After 10 days, Chushul became their next destination. The 114 Infantry Brigade was assigned the responsibility of guarding the Chushul airstrip. The Indian Army had strong apprehension that the Chinese Army would move towards Chushul from Spangur Gap, so it was highly guarded. While Charlie Company of 13 Kumau Battalion was deployed at Rizangla, about 30 kilometers south of this place. There were 124 soldiers in Charlie Company, which was led by Major Shaitan Singh, who was from Jodhpur, while the rest of the soldiers were from Rivari and surrounding areas of Haryana. Most of the soldiers belonged to the Ahir caste. None of them had earlier seen snow or had faced such bone-chilling cold. We have a lot of Charlie Company. के लिए घोड़े तैयार हैं और रजांगला पोस्ट पे जाएंगे चार किलोमीटर था अच्छा हमारा हाँ ऐसे ऐसे पगडंडी जाते थे ना चार किलोमीटर आरों में क्यों तो शीतल नहीं आज तो जाते थे हम 25 मिनट में चढ़ते थे चार घंटे में हाँ क्या वो चलो शायद नहीं आता था हम ही थे जो टाइम हमारी वही क्लोज करते थे जो तेज च करीब डेढ़ महीने पहले ही आए थे वहाँ पे अक्टूबर में आए थे हाँ मैं दसवां में ही तो चढ़े थे दसवां में जो दो तारीख को जो ले में पहुँचे और चार में में दो तारीख को वहाँ पर वहाँ वहाँ पर पोस्ट में पहुँचा दिया It is said that old habits die hard. It applies very well to China. Even during the war, China kept engaging India in a similar way. The Chinese army was moving ahead from the Spangur Gap, but its real planning was to reach Chushul through the back route, and this route was Rezangla, where the Indian army was deployed, but in a very small number. 120 soldiers were deployed at the post of Rezangla, while four soldiers were below the post. Their duty was for ration and to prepare food. Seven platoon under Jamadar Surja Singh was positioned three kilometer north of the pass on forward slopes. Eight platoon under Jamadar Hariram was positioned in pass area, whereas nine platoon under Jamadar Ramchandar was positioned one kilometer south of 7 platoon position. Company headquarters was behind 9 platoon along with section of 3-inch mortar under Naik Ram Kumar Yadav positioned 150 meters west of the company headquarters. company is under 3 platoon. So, 8 platoon was attacked from there, and then it was 8 platoon. 7 platoon was up on the top. We were platoon in 9 platoon. There were about 25 soldiers in each platoon. These three platoons were deployed in an area of about 3 kilometers. The company had a total of 9 LMGs. The soldiers had 3 North 3 and field rifles and 600 bullets. These rifles were from the Second World War and had to be reloaded after firing a bullet. Charlie Company had 2-inch and 3-inch mortar section for which 1,000 bombs were provided. This battalion didn't have any landmines or artillery support. They neither had proper warm clothes and shoes, nor tents in such bone-chilling cold. Not only this, even having food had become difficult for them. In such freezing cold, it was very difficult to cook vegetables or pulses. Despite this, Charlie Company stood firm amidst minus 30 degree temperature, heavy snowfall and wind that pierced through their bodies. At night, the cars were going on, and when they reached the village, the cars were going on. And the cars were going on, and the cars were not showing up. And in the morning, the cars were going on, and we reached the cars in the morning, and we reached the cars in the morning. अब सर्दी ऐसे कि कमल के अंदर तो वो सर्दी ना रुके 
अब आदेश ऐसा भी होगा कि भाई दो दो जवान सो जाओ चार चार छः छः कमल ले लो अब खाना के लिए दाल को दस घंटा हो गया लेकिन दाल पक नहीं रही आलू की सब्जी बन नहीं रही चाय को उबालते उबालते परेशान हो रहे वो उबल नहीं रही रचना सिंह बिस्ट हैज रिटन अ बुक द ब्रेव ऑन परमवीर चक्र अवार्डीज इन दिस बुक शी हैज रिटन कोटिंग हवलदार रामचंद्र दैट इट वाज एक्सट्रीमली डिफिकल्ट फॉर द सोल्जर्स टू स्टे देयर वियरिंग थिन जर्सीज कॉटन ट्राउजर्स एंड लाइट कोट्स The 114 infantry of the Indian army was now ready to face the Chinese enemy. They had just one mission to give a befitting reply to each and every move of the enemy moving towards Chushul airstrip. The war had begun on 19th October. The Chinese army was rapidly moving forward capturing each post. Now the danger was in Chushul. Meanwhile, after 4 days of war, talks had started between India and China. China had also stopped its army from moving forward. Now both armies were standing face to face with each other. This situation continued for about 3 weeks. When no solution was found through talks, war started again on 14th November. China attacked Chushul on 18th November. It simultaneously attacked Spangur Gap and Rezangla. This time China started the attack from Nefa, that is Arunachal Pradesh, but it was clear that it will attack in Ladakh any time soon. The brigade commander of 13 Kamau knew that if China attacked it would not only have more weapons but would also have much larger number of soldiers so Charlie company was ordered to retreat when the ammunition ran out but when major Shetan Singh gave this message to his soldiers and talked to them not a single soldier was ready to retreat everyone said in one voice that even if they lose their lives they will not leave the post the company remained stationed at Rezangla ऊपर से ऑर्डर मिला कि आप पीछे हट जाओ लेकिन हमने बिल्कुल मनाही कर दी हम पीछे नहीं हटेंगे आखिरी तक हम मर जाएंगे यहाँ लेकिन पीछे नहीं हटेंगे हमारे पहले सिखलाई है कि गंगा जल रख कर और कस जबान पे लगा कर ये कसम खाई जाती है हिंदुस्तान का जवान शहीद हो सकता है लेकिन पीछे नहीं हट सकता On the evening of 17 November 1962 a soldier posted at the outpost came and reported that a large number of chinese troops tanks and artillery had moved to the gap in the hill opposite rizangla after this report everyone had understood that china is going to attack at any time on the night of 17 November at around 10 pm a heavy snowstorm was leashed in the battle zone after 2 hours the weather cleared a bit the visibility improved and everyone was ready on their positions and then the time came when charlie company faced competition from china the date was 18 november 1962 time was around 3:30 am in the dark of night lmg's burst firing shocked everyone along with it the entire sky was bathed in red light due to flare lights after the firing major shetan singh asked havaldar ramchandra to find out where had the firing took place havalda ramchandra made a telephone call to 8 platoon he came to know from jamadar hariram that about 10 chinese soldiers were moving towards the post from a mountain gully in front from the listening post the lmg fired heavily on the intruding chinese soldiers out of 10 seven chinese soldiers got killed while three ran back the first chinese attack had failed अट्ठाईस गोलियों का जो फायर था पूरा पहाड़ गोंज का पूरा एलपी को विड्रॉल किया पोजिशन में बुलाया हरिराम जमादार ने अब तो नायब सुबदार बोलते हैं और मेरे को मैसेज दिया कि ऐसे ऐसे दुश्मन से कंटेक्ट हो गया मैंने कहा साहब दुश्मन से कंटेक्ट हो गया इन्होंने मारा है चार बुरस्ट और नफरी थी वहाँ करीब बीस पच्चीस की उनकी दस बारह वहाँ खत्म हो गए बाकी वापस भाग गए हमारे जवान अपने पोजिशन में आ गए आफ्टर सम टाइम द कंपनी कमांडर रिसीव द कॉल फ्रॉम सेवन प्लेटून जमादार सुरजा राम रिपोर्टेड दैट अराउंड फोर हंड्रेड चाइनीज सोल्जर्स वर क्लाइंबिंग अप टू देर पोस्ट चार्ली कंपनी हैड कोड नेम दिस गली एज मैना एवरी वन गॉट रेडी आफ्टर सुरजा राम कॉल द एनिमी वॉज फार अवे एट दैट टाइम इन द ब्रेव 
Rachna Bisht has written that Major Shaitan Singh did not give the order to fire until the Chinese came within a range of 300 yards. As soon as they came within range, Major Shaitan Singh gave the order and simultaneously three LMGs of 7 platoon and two LMGs of 9 platoon started firing. Simultaneously, the mortars were ordered to fire at Mena Gap. Simultaneous firing of LMG and mortar completely destroyed the Chinese army. Hundreds of Chinese soldiers were killed in Mena Gap. China's second attack on Rizangla had also failed. Meanwhile, eight platoon reported that about 800 Chinese soldiers were rapidly moving towards their post. Havaldar Ramchandar told that Major Shaitan Singh had said to Jamadar Hariram, You are a brave Ahir. Fight with full enthusiasm. After listening to this, Hariram replied, Don't worry, sir. We will fight. This time too, as soon as the Chinese soldiers came into range, Nihal Singh along with 8 platoon and 9 platoon started firing on them with their LMG. Bullets fired from around 8 LMGs simultaneously killed more than 100 Chinese soldiers there. The rest turned their backs and ran away. The attack of the Chinese soldiers had failed again. After a while, 7 platoon reported the advance of Chinese troops. This time, the number of Chinese was around 1,000. All three platoons again allowed them to come forward and then attack together. After the LMG firing, the snow-clad gaps of Rezangla turned red with the blood of Chinese soldiers. Charlie Company had just stopped firing when the Chinese started firing with RCL guns and mortars. The Chinese army was shelling with 120, 81 and 60 mm mortars. Along with this, bombardment was also being done with 75 mm and 57 mm RCL guns. Moreover, 132 mm rockets capable of breaking even strong rocks were also being fired at Charlie Company. This heavy shelling destroyed the shelter built for the soldiers of Charlie Company and demolished their bunkers. The wireless system broke down completely and the telephone line was also cut. The Chinese army was bombarding heavily and the Charlie Company was not even getting a chance to recover. In this attack, one soldier was martyred while the leg of the other was amputated. About six more soldiers were injured in this attack. Immediately, the nursing staff, Dharampal Singh Daya, started the dressing. Meanwhile, a piece of rocket hit Major Shaitan Singh's arm. The time was around 7.30 in the morning. Suddenly, the soldiers looked at the ridge behind them and saw a herd of yaks moving forward. At first, Charlie Kamri thought that help was sent for them from the headquarters. But when they looked through binoculars, they found out that Chinese army was moving along with a herd of yaks. Major Shaitan Singh ordered mortar bombardment. Many Chinese soldiers were killed in the bombardment, but by then they had set four HMG and RCL. आगे की लड़ाई तो खत्म होगी, लेकिन हजार आदमियों से पीछे से वो आकर के हमारे ऊपर अटैक किया। अब हमने मैं साहब बोला कि रामचंद्र मैंने कहा, आप हमारी जो मोटर पोजीशन है उसको आदेश दो कि 80 डिग्री पर फायर करें बमबारमेंट। इनका सर बोलो आप परवाह नहीं हमारे ऊपर आएंगे लेकिन कोई नहीं ये तो लगाने नहीं पाएंगे घोड़ा और ये आपको मशीन करो वही हुआ कि हमारे जो ये चक्र रामकुमार थे उसने इतना बचाया सी के भी और नीचे ले आया और उनको घोड़ा को लगने नहीं दिया इन पांच छह हथियार उनके लग गए मेडियम मशीन गन आरसीएल गन वो लग गए और उन्होंने फिर हमारे ऊपर बहुत पीछे से वार करना शुरू कर दिया The Chinese army was now attacking Charlie Company from two sides Major Shaitan Singh got hit by three bullets in his firing but undaunted he kept motivating regrouping and reorganizing his handful men and weapons hamare ghera laga liya puri company pe to company ki nafri to bahut kam thi aur seniyon ki bahut zyada nafri thi ji aur peeche se ghera laga liya isliye humne मतलब दो प्लाटून हमारी बिल्कुल पहले खत्म हो गई तो मेरे पास मतलब एलएमजी थी मेरे मोर्चे में जो आठ प्लाटून पर जो अटैक हो रहा था उस पर मेरा एलएमजी का फायर सीधा जा रहा था तो मैंने काफी मतलब दुश्मन को मारा है डिस्पाइट बीइंग वुंडेड मेजर शैतान सिंह पिकड अप हिज राइफल एंड किल्ड अ चाइनीज सोल्जर फायरिंग अ मीडियम मशीन गन फ्रॉम द रिज 
After this, he came out of the bunker. By the time he could move forward, several bullets from the Chinese machine gun hit his abdomen. हाथ में गोली लगी ब्रस्ट और इस समय बाजू में यहाँ पर भी कोने के पास भी और ये एक ब्रस्ट लगा मेरे साहब के यहाँ तो रामचंद्र ले जा रहा था मेरे साहब ने बोला कि भाई नाल सिंह तू तो अपने मोर्चे में मैं तो साहब अपने मोर्चे से को कहीं इधर से दुश्मन को आने नहीं दूंगा मेजर शैतान सिंह आस्ट हवलदार रामचंद्र टू रीच द बटालियन हेडक्वार्टर्स एंड टेल देम हाउ द कंपनी फॉट एंड हाउ इट अटेंड मार्टडम बट रामचंद्र रिफ्यूज टू लीव हिम हवलदार रामचंद्र टोल्ड रचना बेस्ट ऑथर ऑफ द बुक द ब्रेव दैट एज सुन एज मेजर शैतान सिंह वॉज शॉर्ट company havaldar major harful picked up the lmg and killed the chinese soldier who had shot major shaitan singh meanwhile he himself became the target of chinese rcl taking his last breath harful told ramchandr that major shaitan singh should not fall into the hands of the chinese at any cost meanwhile nihal singh who was firing at the enemies with his lmg got shot in both his hands he tried to throw the grenade with his foot but failed dono hath na kamyab ho gaye दुश्मन ने चारों तरफ से हमला किया दुश्मन मेरे मोर्चे में नहीं आया ये अभी तक तो फैर कर रहा था और कौन जाए कले जाए दिल चाहिए द एनिमी हैड कम वेरी क्लोज एंड नाउ चार्ली कंपनी वॉज रनिंग आउट ऑफ बुलेट्स एंड हैंड ग्रेनेड्स द ब्रेव अही सोल्जर्स केम आउट ऑफ द बंकर्स एंड अटैक द चाइनीज सोल्जर्स विद द राइफल बैनट्स बट द कोर्ट्स ऑफ चाइनीज सोल्जर्स वॉज सो थिक that sometimes the bayonets could not enter seeing this the indian soldiers picked up stones and started hitting the enemies they lifted up chinese soldiers and threw them on a stone sangram singh caught many chinese and banged their heads with other chinese soldiers amne sun khatam hoga hamara dukkam dukk ladai shuru hogi bat se ladai hogi bayonet mara to unke paas aisa court pe de dibu usme jaye ko na फिर बटों से ऐसे होगी बट भी छोड़ा तो आपस में गुत्थम गुत्ता सिंग्राम मेरी सामने पांच जवानों को चाइनीज को पकड़ कर जिससे मार मार कर पत्थर के ऊपर मार दिया जब तक गोलियां थी आखिरी दम तक आखिरी गोली और फिर गुत्थम गुत्था जैसे जो काम जैसे नहीं घायल हुआ जो घायल नहीं हुआ उसने जो चीन वाला आदमी हाथ आया उसको बांट भर कर पटक कर मारा के अंदर हमारे पास मतलब मामनेशन खत्म हो गया इसलिए हमने बटों से लड़ाई लड़ी और पत्थरों पे दे दे के मारा वैसे भी मतलब उनको मारा है चाइनीज सोल्जर्स वर इन लार्ज नंबर रामचंद्र डिड नॉट वांट टू लेट मेजर शैतान सिंह फॉल इनटू द हैंड्स ऑफ द चाइनीज एट एनी कॉस्ट As soon as he got the chance he lifted Major Shaitan Singh and took him 1 km down the hill This brave heart of India took his last breath at 8 8 minutes in the morning At the same time Major Shaitan Singh's watch also stopped Himmat karke ke main saab ke upar hi let gaya main aur main saab ko aise baant bhar ke lot palot hua aur jab main niche chala gaya phat mai saab ko le aaya aur kandhe pe dal ke नीचे लाया एक किलोमीटर नीचे लाने के बाद में मैंने लेटाया देखा है मैंने मेरे साहब की क्या हालत है तो देखा तो मेरे साहब के प्राण निकल चुके थे दिस इज द सेम वॉच ऑफ मार्टर मेजर शैतान सिंह जय सामोता हु हैज रिटन अ बुक ऑन 21 परमवीर चक्र अवार्डीज ऑफ इंडियाज आर्म फोर्सेस एंड इज करेंटली वर्किंग ऑन द बायोग्राफी ऑफ मेजर शैतान सिंह हैड ट्वीटेड दिस पिक्चर द पोस्ट ऑन द रिजांगला वाज कंप्लीटली डिस्ट्रॉयड Out of 120 soldiers, 114 had lost their lives. Five soldiers, including Nihal Singh, were taken hostage by the Chinese army. 
the company had already called back the four jawans who were posted below for ration and kitchen work to the headquarters former coast guard officer kulpreet yadav has written a book named the battle of rzangla on the sacrifice of the brave ahir soldiers in this battle this book written with a lot of research tells about the battle of rzangla in great detail kulpreet yadav told about this war ye battle takriban 7 ghante chali jisme china ne हमारे पे सात बार अटैक किया सेवन वेव्स वो बहुत डेस्परेट थे कि वो किसी भी तरह से इसको हथिया लें क्योंकि रिजांगला को अगर वो ले लेते तो वहाँ से बिल्कुल बगल में चुशूल एयरफील्ड है चुशूल एयरफील्ड उनके पास आ जाता तो हमारे सारे एरोप्लेन्स और हमारा सारा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और पूरा लद्दाख का रीजन उस समय चले जाता द ब्रेव अहीज ऑफ चार्ली कंपनी फॉट टिल दे लास्ट ब्रेथ अंडर द अनडॉन्टेड लीडरशिप ऑफ मेजर शैतान सिंह एंड सेक्रीफाइस द लाइव वाइल फाइटिंग From here the story of Rizangla can be split in two parts. One is about Havaldar Ramchandar reaching the company headquarters and the other is about five soldiers including Nihal Singh being captured by the Chinese army. Just imagine out of 120 soldiers 114 were martyred. They not only fought with more than 3000 Chinese soldiers but also killed more than 1000 of them. and when one of such brave soldiers reached the company headquarters and told the story of his company's exemplary courage and valor he was declared a liar on 20th november just 2 days after the rizangla war all of a sudden china announced ceasefire along with this the chinese army also went behind the mcmohan line but on the night of the battle that is on 18th november nihal singh had escaped from the captivity of chinese army He was held captive by the Chinese army in a camp built inside the China border. Both his hands were injured by bullets, but in the dark of night he somehow escaped from the camp. He didn't even know where he was going. A dog roaming in the camp helped him and brought him to Indian territory. Meanwhile, as soon as the Chinese soldiers came to know that Nihal Singh had escaped, they started a search operation, but Nihal Singh managed to reach the Indian army post. He was admitted to the hospital in Jammu. फिर उन्होंने रोशनी के फैर करे पांच उस वक्त भारी भारी पत्थर थे मैं ऐसे दो उंगली से अंगूठे से हाथ को पकड़ कर रही हूँ मैं ये सोच रहा था ये हाथ ही निकल कर गिरेगा बच बच कर चलता था जब आओ जो मैं बैठ गया बैठ गया तो मगा भाई ये तो दुश्मन को पता चल गया Ramchandra reached the company headquarter after burying Major Shetan Singh's body in the snow near a boulder. He told the brigade commander about everything that happened in Rizangla. Several days later, Ramchandra was called to Delhi. Many senior army officers interrogated him, but no one believed what Ramchandra had told. When Ramchandra said that Charlie Company had killed more than 1300 Chinese in Rizangla, they not only called him a liar but even threatened him with court martial everyone thought that either most of the soldiers of chali company were taken prisoners of war by china or they had fled the battle jab maine kaha na ki tera so ko nuksan kiya tab unhone mere par hamla kar diya ki ramchandra maine kaha sab tera court martial hoga kal se aap bol maine kaha court martial uska hoga jo nahi ladha hai main bata raha tera so ko nuksan hua hai आप मेरे साथ चलो मैं जगह दिखा दूंगा मीनवाइल ड्यूरिंग हिस्स ट्रीटमेंट इन जम्मू निहाल सिंह ऑल्सो रीटरेटेड द वर्ड्स ऑफ रामचंद्र ही टोल्ड दैट व्हेन द चाइनीज आर्मी वाज रिटर्निंग फ्रॉम रिजांगला 25 ट्रक्स वर कैरिंग बॉडीज ऑफ देयर सोल्जर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू निहाल सिंह द फिगर ऑफ द चाइनीज सोल्जर्स किल्ड वाज 1310 रामचंद्र रिटर्न टू हिज बटालियन अबाउट 3 मंथ्स हैड पास्ड नो फर्दर हियरिंग वाज डन Suddenly in February 1963 that is after about 3 months of the war Ramchandra got an order from the brigade commander to come to Chushul Rachna Bisht has written in the book The Brave that a shepherd from Chushul had reached Rizangla while roaming around he saw dead bodies of indian soldiers lying there he ran down the hill reached the indian army post and told them everything after this 13 kumar brigade commander brigadier T N Rena along with many officers reached the spot havaldar ramchandra was also taken along with them when they reached there everything was exactly the same as ramchandra and nihal singh had told major shetan singh's body was buried in the snow near the same boulder where ramchandra had told 
the dead bodies of all indian soldiers were in and around their trenches many soldiers had guns in their hands everyone and everything had frozen in the snow nursing assistant dharampal dahiya had a syringe filled with morphine in his hands all the soldiers were shot on their chests seeing this unmatched courage and sacrifice of the soldiers everyone started crying including brigade commander brigadier t n rena those present recall that brigadier t n rena got so emotional that he had to remove his prosthetic eye for relief the post by pahunche tab hum dekha jawan ke hath mein aa raha hai chaati mein bol raha hai nurse singh assistant dharmpal bhaiya injection laga raha hai injection hath mein हमारे कमांडर साहब ब्रिगेडियर साहब तीन रहना एक आंख की लड़ाई में गई हुई थी एक पत्थर की इतना रोया इतना भाव हुआ कि उसकी एक आंख गिर गई जो ब्रिगेडियर थे ब्रिगेडियर रहना जो ब्रिगेड कमांडर थे वो रेड क्रॉस के साथ मीडिया के साथ आप उस जगह पे ट्रैक करके फिर से पहुंचे और जो उन्होंने मंजर देखा उसकी फोटोग्राफी की गई और जो पूरा वॉर सीन था वो वैसा का वैसा फ्रोजन हो गया था एंड उसको देख के सबको समझ में आया कि किस बहादुरी से ये जो चाली कंपनी के जवान थे ये लड़े थे और किस बहादुरी से इन्होंने लद्दाख सेक्टर को बचाया है द डेड बॉडीज ऑफ ऑल द सोल्जर्स वर ब्रॉट टू वन प्लेस एट दैट टाइम द बॉडीज ऑफ द मार्टर्स वर क्रिमेटेड वेयर दे वर मार्टर्ड बट देर वॉज नो वुड फॉर क्रिमेशन देर वॉज अ स्कूल नियर बाय विच वॉज इन रूइंस Indian army soldiers brought broken benches from that school. Brigadier Tian Rena himself lit the combined funeral pyre of these brave soldiers. Major Shetan Singh's body was sent to Jodhpur in a special Indian Air Force aircraft. The gallant company commander was cremated with full state honors. The exemplary courage of Charlie Company of 13 Kumau had surprised even the bravest of braves. The government of India posthumously honored Major Shetan Singh with the country's highest gallantry award Paramvir Chakra. Havaldar Ramchandar was awarded Veer Chakra and Nihal Singh was awarded Sena Medal. A total of 8 Veer Chakras and 4 Sena Medals were awarded to the company. Along with this, a soldier was honored with mention in dispatch. Commanding officer of 13 Kumau was awarded with Ati Vishisht Seva Medal. It is still difficult to imagine that 120 courageous indian soldiers had killed more than 1000 chinese soldiers can anyone imagine that the chinese had to use not one or two but 25 trucks to lift the dead bodies of their soldiers it was these brave ahirs who caused the biggest assault to china in the 1962 war at rizangla though till date china has not disclosed the exact number of its soldiers who were killed at that time but this was a big blow for china This company of brave ahirs filled new enthusiasm and spirit in India which had lost the war with China. The message was sent that even though we lost this battle China is not invincible. India's heroes can also make China taste defeat. We salute the fighters and brave men who fought till their last breath in Rizangla. That's all in today's video. If you like the video please tell us in the comment box and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet Please do subscribe it so that you can get information about our new videos. See you soon with another video of the series. Till then goodbye. Jai Hind.